Hello there, Eruner here and today we are going to review Elion Imbrasus. This faction has been slightly reworked and I will tell you about each unit and what changes are happened. Let's start with the Troilos. This hero is very offensive, very high attack and many offensive abilities. First which you should use is the Strats of Fate to give him tons of melee attack and boost his weapon damage at the cost of some armor. When you he will have more rage you can bring enemy down or boost yourself up and quickly win duels. So let's continue with his infantry roster. In early game we are starting with Militia Warband. These guys are ok reliable for their front line in early game. Usually I do better without them. Next we have Trojan Warriors. These are slightly better because I love using chargers, especially in early game. And they perform quite good or better. Hmm. Alien Imbrasos has this unique unit, the Trojan Coastal Watch. Uh, very handy is this Vanguard deployment ability, because they are uh, watching the coast, they know their home territory very well, that's why they can appear, deploy anywhere on the map. And you shall use this deployment ability to make this unit viable. Otherwise, maybe stick with the Trojan Warriors. Then, for the front line, or maybe early game kill line, we got the Swordsman. Hector has these guys in the roster as well. And you can use them in the early game. Alternatively, you can choose to use Spear front line instead. They have slightly lower attack but they are used for holding the ground, stopping enemy from charging and protecting the flanks. These are solid uh, frontline in early game. Next we have archers. These are very good, very solid, nice range and damage output. Just like Paris and Hector, this Trojan faction has them as well. So. In the early game they are very versatile and also they have javelins. You got a lot of options with this roster, especially from early. They have very good speed and they are throwing standard very good javelins with extra ammunition. These guys can afford it. Now let's move to the mid game after right here. Yeah. So, as Paris, we got access to Shielded Spear Warriors. Uh, they have uh, okay or average stats and they can last longer in battles. You should use their two-handed melee mode if you are going to support them with archers. So, they can block sh your own shields, uh, block your own arrows and do some nice damage. Uh, next we have Trojan Marines, our quick, no not so quick, but pretty good kill line or flankers. These guys are having extra javelins to deal more damage. In mid game they are useful, especially on your flanks and with a, they can kill quite a lot. But if you want much better, faster flanker, this is it, Trojan City Watch. They are very fast, they have bonus versus swords, very good charge. These are very mobile and very good in open f battles and you can do quite a lot. You have them only from the mid game and not sooner. And then also we have the chariots. 
Trojan factions have access, have the Anatolian chariots, which are slightly stronger than Achaean versions. Okay, and lastly, we got the chariots of Apollo, the skirmish chariot. Right in the mid game, you can uh, bring this up. Uh, they have pretty good damage, missile damage, but they have just 12 models and each of them has two archers so you need this good damage in order to perform like any other missile infantry. I would recommend rather using melee chariot or no chariot at all. Now let's move to the late game units. So in this section we are starting with the heavy Trojan spearmen. These guys are very solid backbone of Trojans, uh, they perform well, uh, they have a lot of uh, HP and models, defensive, optionally you can switch uh, weapon, put, put their shields on back for more charge and damage. So these are tested by many battles on our community. Next, an alternative to our spear and more expensive one are Trojan Royal Guard. These guys are even more defensive. They are able to hold very well and you pay for their defensive capabilities. You will have easy time uh, just holding them and let them be. To support their flanks you can use Companions of Troilos, uh, they are pretty good against Spears and any lower tier units. You need to be a little bit careful because they are very slow, uh, but if you su support them they are able to melt enemy units and hold for quite a bit. So these are uh, pretty late game units. Next we have Apollo's Initiates, a very good late game archer unit, standard range, good damage, uh, pretty good speed because they are lightly armored. You can use them in skirmishing and uh, that's pretty much it. If you want much better upgrade we got an elite version, the followers of Apollo. These have more armor and therefore slower speed, but they have 190 range, just like Paris or other top tier missiles. They might have slightly less damage output, but they are definitely top tier missiles. You will do a lot of damage with them. So. You are playing just like Hector or Paris, something between them. And lastly, to have a very versatile roster, you can use the Troyla Trojan Island Skirmishers. Uh, these guys are standard and fast javelins. What, what to say about them? They pierce armored units easily. Um, they can survive something. Nothing special, they are just good, fast javelins. Alright, and we have one of the best, strongest chariots in the game. Maybe not as strong as the Mares of Diomedes, but these are having pretty good charge and damage and above average stats. So, Elion Embrasos is able to purchase effort this heavy noble chariots. So what would be my recommendation for playing this faction? Uh, I think this is very good for beginners. You just make a big front line and you will just wait and use them. You can bring your missiles behind and because of your big range, you can just have them standing still on the guard mode 
Similarly, I would also make these units stand ground as well. You don't have to use uh, skirmishers for flanking or so. Uh, it's up to you. And chariots, if you are patient, you can bring chariot to deal with uh, enemy toughest units. So, I would recommend this to beginners. And for advanced players, you are going to utilize not only javelins, but let me go back to the mid game tier. You are going to use these fast flankers, and maybe you can throw in some even cheaper units as well. Some flank vanguard. Mm. You have the options, you can play it sim simply and safely. And this is Alien in Brussels. I hope you will have fun with this faction. That is all. See you later.